goddamn beautiful, man. I like you guys in the cheap seats, okay? You guys got a nice view of my scoliosis. That's good, good, enjoy it. Take in that 45 degrees the wrong way. Uh, guys, I'm mixed, that's why I, this. And you know they're always like, oh, mixed kids are always good looking? Sometimes you get a bad mix, you know what I mean? Sometimes shit is oil and water. It's not supposed to go together. But my mom is from Guyana. Uh, my dad's from Canada. And somehow I came out like a sleepy Mexican boy. <laughs> so on my mom's side, right? The brown side, the Guyanese side. She has 12 siblings. And all those siblings have kids. And all those fucking kids have kids, right? And then on my dad's side, it's just my dad. So when we go to family events, there's literally 300 brown people and just one white guy walking around like he's supervising, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and two Mexican kids behind him, me and my brother, like what the hell is this family? What is this family? <laughs> Did you guys get spanked as a kid? Yeah. Round of applause, you got spanked as a kid. <laughs> hell yeah. It's a weird thing to applaud for. But you guys did it, you're abusers. Um, I grew up, like, my mom's West Indian, right? So she grew up getting hit, right? And I asked my mom, like, what did they hit you with? She's like, spoons, slippers, belts, bamboo. I'm like, they hit you with friggin' bamboo? Do you know how much bamboo is to buy for your house right now? I'm like, this is a waste of goddamn resources, right? But my dad, from Canada, white guy, but his parents were from England. Very, yes, hello, very, 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 very prim proper. My dad used to get timeouts. Right? You know, my dad never got spanking. He used to get timeouts, right? And my mom's like, no, time in, motherfucker. Someone's gonna get hit, do you know what I mean? Someone's getting these licks, right? And you remember when you're a kid and you're in trouble, right? And you would go home, right? I was used to it. I had a bad report card. Look, mom, dad, I'm stupid. Hit me, let's go on with our lives, right? But eventually, like, oh man, we can't beat math into him. We gotta figure something else out. God forbid he becomes a comedian or some weird shit, right? <laughs> So I came home one day and I opened the door. I'm like, you know, it feels weird. I'm like, there's something in the wind. Something doesn't feel right. And my dad's like, Nicholas, come upstairs. I'm like, okay, we're gonna get this beating in private. Let's fucking do this. So I get up to my room and my dad had put a chair in front of a mirror. And he's like, sit down. And I'm like, is this guy gonna make me watch myself get beaten? I'm like, this is child abuse. This might be a war crime, you know what I mean? So I sit down, I start flexing. Come on, hit me, let's go, buddy! He doesn't hit me, he goes over to my CD player and he presses play and Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror comes on. <laughs> and he just goes figure it out and he walks out the room. <laughs> now I'm just sitting there staring at myself, listening to Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. Do you guys know what that song's about? It's about fixing the world. I failed grade six math, you know what I mean? I wanna be a better man, Dad, I don't know how. Now I'm traumatized, that song comes on, I'm an adult, I'm like, I should have been a doctor! <laughs> you guys ever look back in your life and try to figure out what went wrong? <laughs> Just me, we're all exactly where we wanna be. You guys remember when you're a kid, everyone's getting their first pets? Everyone's getting like dogs and cats? My parents bought us a bird. Nobody wants to hang out with the bird guy. <laughs> I'm this guy. No one wants to hang out with that guy. And the bird's a piece of shit. It's a parrot. It's going for 95 years. My parents are gonna die. I don't want this friggin' bird, guys. And growing up, everyone's like, oh, that's so cool, man. You got a parrot. Does he talk? No. He's a piece of shit. He doesn't talk. You know what my bird learned to do? My bird learned to mimic the sound of the microwave. <laughs> Just constantly beep, 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 beep. You're like, how many pizza pops did I put in this shit? <laughs> Does your bird talk? No. You wanna know what my bird learned to do? My bird learned to mimic the sound of doors opening. <laughs> like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> Do you guys know how many times I've been high by myself at home just watching TV? Oh, <laughs> here's I'm gonna get murdered! Mur, how many doors are in this friggin' house? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Who put 
that in there. Thank God I'm starving. Uh, I got a girlfriend, guys, um, and she doesn't feel safe around me. Like she, she wants to know that I got her, right? I don't, I don't got her. I don't got myself, you know what I mean? I get me, you, the bird. This is too many fucking heads for me to worry about. But our first date, I'm like, I can't protect you, I can walk you home. And one of our first dates, I had to get her from here to the end of this room. I could see her house. I'm like, I got you, baby. Let's go. And I take her down an alleyway, because there's graffiti, and that's what I think romance is. And as soon as I get into the alleyway, I'm like, this is the darkest I've ever seen the world. I'm friggin' terrified. Walk a little bit faster, right? So we're walking, and then a car pulls into the alleyway. I'm like, oh shit. And then three guys get out the car. And I'm like, this is my goddamn nightmare. And the three guys are looking down the alleyway at me and my girlfriend, and they're just like... Yo, ladies! How y'all doing tonight? And I'm like, this is the most disrespectful shit that has ever happened to me in my entire life. And I can't say anything. I'm like, I'm a man, I get my ass kicked, and I have to hold her hand and walk past him like a bitch. Like, I don't know what they said. It's all right. So we're walking, the three guys are still looking at us like, yo, ladies! You all wanna get a drink tonight? And I don't know what happened, but my girlfriend got fed up on my behalf. And she was like, actually, he's a, I'm like, shut the fuck up. This is the prettiest I've ever felt in my entire life. Let's see if we can get some drinks out these motherfuckers. You guys were awesome, man, have a great night. See you later.